We're making a list. We're checking it twice. We're going to find out for Santa who's naughty and who's nice. For the pro wrestlers? Yeah, and people that work in the wrestling industry. Oh, man, this is this is awful. I mean, most pro wrestlers are just fucking awful. They've all done just terrible, terrible things. That is true, but we're only counting it for this year. Oh, all right, that makes sense. Naughty or nice today on Pro Wrestling Powskis. Scott Narver. Hey, Jake Lloyd Bacon. Oh, that was such a lovely face you made. Well, it's because it's filled with leftovers of Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, your tum tum's all filled with Turk Turk. Sure, why not? Yeah. That helps the premise. Let's pretend it's the future. Because of course this episode is uh is a week after Thanksgiving or or out of the four or five days. However, math works. I don't know. Time is a fat circle, as a wise man once said. Um but we are here. It is a. Uh, it's the Pro Wrestling Palaskis program, the PWPP, and uh, I want to thank everybody who's joining us and and listening and hanging out and chatting wrestling. Each and every one of you has been nice, but not as nice as those joining us live via the super exclusive patron only live stream. Um, if you want to join us live for these shows, well, you got to become a patron over at patreon.com slash pwpalskis. Every patron gets access to the live stream. It is the 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 the, the first thing you get. Um, so uh, just a couple bucks a month, that's all it takes, and then you get to hang out with us and tell us how dumb and or handsome we are. Looking at you, we got looks like we got Mass Lam in the chat. We got Mike Lucas. Uh, got his fill of space turkey and moon gravy from the future, he says, Mass Llama. Oh, um, space turkey and moon gravy. I am sold on that. And uh, and of course, come on, Pizza Planet, step up your game. As always, we must acknowledge her current PWP champ, Alice Raider, a.k.a. Invasion. If you would like to challenge Alice Raider, she will be defending that title in the PWP Championship Battle Royal next week, right here on this very program. you got to become a championship-level Palski in time for the next Championship Battle Royal, and you can be the PWP champion. And uh, by the way, PWP... Close out the year. To, yeah. to, to reign supreme in the holidays and yeah. to close out the year being the final champ? Yeah. That's a big deal. That's a... It's a... It, listen, it's a pretty big fucking deal. Uh, do, you want, fucking deal. do you want to see who was champ last uh, last December? I obviously remember, but yeah, go ahead and bring it up. December of 2022 champion was Tim Redbeard. Tim Redbeard. Tim Redbeard won Said it at the same time. Won it from the from the then champion Gilbert Short. Gilbert Short. Um, that too. Who is going to? Who will survive? WrestleMania. It could be a new champ. It could be Alice. Might just say fuck all of you, and yeah. I'm taking it twice. Um, if you would like the challenge, you the gotta get in continues. there. Continues. Also, you know, you don't just get the uh, you know, the the clout of being champion. You also get an item of your choosing from the shop, which is worth far more than your patronage. So it's like we're giving a little something back. Um, so please consider becoming a patron, especially a championship uh, uh, patron so that you can, uh, you, know, you can join in on the fun. And just think if you have a secret Santa or a white elephant party you're going to, and you're like, I don't know what to get. I know I'll, I'll use my free item of the month and then get a thing. You can gift it also. If you're like, I want to give the the, the gift of the Powskis to others, you can do that. You can be charitable. We don't mind. We'll allow it. It is not against the rules. Um, Well, it is a, it's officially the holidays. Christmas will be here before you know it, Scott and Arbor. Have you done any of your shopping yet? No, not even Nothing? remotely. Not even for your fiance? No, I, I don't know. This is going to be a weird, I don't think this is a, 
this is a I don't think this is a Christmas year for us. <laughs> oh man, you're breaking it off? That's fucked <laughs> yeah, up. yeah, we're gonna wrap so it up. So soon? We're gonna wrap it up. We figured Can I get the money back for that ring? Uh listen, you gonna pawn it? Listen, it's not uh, if I had I spent anything on it, maybe I would have. <laughs> oh shit, you got it for free? Um you a grave yeah. digger? What are you doing? No, I, yeah, I robbed I robbed a guy. Stabbed him. A guy? You yeah, you gave him. her a guy ring? No, he was selling it, and I I stabbed him and took it. Oh. Yeah. Listen, was you it can't. The guy from Resident it's Evil a, 4? It's been, it's been at least a at least a year. I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations on that is over, so I can say that on the show here now, right? As long as you build a statue. Oh, yeah. Of, I have to of build it. the statue of limitations. That's where that phrase comes from. Is yeah. As long as you and build. Then, Long, then you're good. As long as I build the statue and I write on the statue limitations, boom, they can't. They, Twenty years from now, and then they go mm, racist, tear down the statue. It's like, they, yeah, then it's fine. They can't arrest me for murder. So I think. Nope. I think that's exactly how Superfly Jimmy Snooker got off. Yeah, he built a statue. Built the statue of limitations. Allegedly. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Today? He built it. What are, he built it. What are we doing in honor of the holidays? Well, in honor of the holidays and the shopping and everything, we got to help Santa Claus out. And figure out in the world of wrestling, we're talking on air town, we're talking behind the scenes. We gotta we gotta help out Santa and figure out who this year, the year of 2023, who's been naughty and who's been nice. This is uh this is I can't believe Santa uh trusted us to do this because we don't have good judgment. Well, who do you think does? The judgment day? I don't think so. No. I don't think they're just it's just one day out of the year, I'm sure, but we don't even know when that is. They never even told us when Judgment Day was. It's a one day where they're real snarky on X. Right. Like New Day. Real snarky. New Day is always tomorrow, right? Which never comes. No, never comes. Rusev's Day was every day. Yeah. Yusef Day was always today. Judgment Day? Mm-hmm. Didn't even allude to when it was. No. Yeah. Um. Do you want to start with Judgment Day since we're bringing them up? <laughs> sure. And obviously to all those live in the chat, if yes. you want to be part of the show live and interject during the course of the show, we invite you to join up on that on, on our Patreon. But those who are in there now, feel free to throw out some names yeah. and people again on air talent behind the scenes. We got to figure all this out. We got to see who's deserving to get gifts this year or not. There's like 9 million people though <laughs> that work in wrestling that we need to go through every one of them. It's crazy that we're doing this. But only one books AEW. <laughs> I mean, listen, I already said we're going to start with Judgment Day. We'll get there. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do it. Let's do it. JD, baby. Finn Balor. Naughty or nice? Finn Balor. <sighs> He's so terrible to himself. So. He doesn't eat bread. <laughs> so he's. Just look at him. He uh, essentially is unkind to himself, and therefore he is naughty. He he's unkind to himself. He look. He had a really rough year. Like Edge, you know, did something bad to him. He busted his head wide open with that ladder. Yeah, at WrestleMania. So I feel like, despite all those things happening, like Finn's been a pretty good boy this year. I I'm gonna say, listen, he just let that kid whose name they changed into the judgment day, you know, J- JD yeah. uh, McDonovich. He, he helped get Dom out of prison. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. He's I looking like out for family. He really has been looking out for family. Like it's, and, you know, and you know what? Not on TV. He was really cute to that kid who came to his door dressed like the demon on Halloween. Did you see that video? No, I didn't. <laughs> very Please real. Tell me about this video. Very, very real. Some kid knocked on or like rang his doorbell and he fucking answered the door. And this little kid is dressed like Finn Balor. And they, the parents, they, they all just lost their shit. They had no idea it was Finn Balor's house in fucking Tampa, where the hell he lives. Wait a second. I may go to the naughty list on this one. <laughs> and Finn Balor was filming children no, going to his door. I don't think it was him. I think it was the family filming it or it was his ring doorbell. In which case, he's filming every child ever all the time. Always. Mm, if that's the case, if he's filming it, then he's on the naughty list because that's creep material I right mean, there. But in my opinion, every, anybody was a ring doorbells on the naughty list. But listen, let's not get into politics. We got to look out for those porch pirates. Let the, they need it. Um, 
Do they? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I still go nice. I, I still think Finn I go, Balor. Okay, I'll go nice since I don't know if he's filming no. children or not. No, I. Uh, I but he when he, you said he went nuts, like did he then the like kids, do the double stomp on the child's? No, he stomach? did. He didn't. They did. The, the the family. They were so excited that they double stomped on Finn Balor. And he was yeah yeah yeah. They, they went fucking nuts. They were like, you want to get nuts? They they were really, they really liked the flash. They were like, oh, I liked how they crammed in that line for Michael Keaton, even though it didn't really matter. But like, we, they knew we wanted to hear it. So oh, we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that they were big fans of that. So they went nuts. They double stomped Finn Balor's chest. I can't believe Finn Balor bought candy. <laughs> Wait, is that, I like the idea of, of a, him like buying like a big bag. Or maybe maybe he gives out like really shitty like low car that would be naughty yeah because he doesn't he doesn't know he doesn't have any of it and he's like tootsie rolls those are that's good right oh no he's like oreos are vegan i'll give you a single oreo loose just here i i i twisted it off i I split it perfectly so you get the half icing and here you go right see i i will say mike lucas in the chat says finn's on the naughty list he's part demon it's like, no, he's not part demon. A separate demon entity just lives inside of him. And you can't guilt him for that. Who among yeah. us? Who among us? You know? Yeah. It's, you can't blame a guy for hearing voices in his head. It's whether or not he acts on him. And once the demon got out, what happened? Ladder thrown in the demon's head. Yep. Look, Where's the demon been since? Hi- Nowhere. Hiding. Just, just hiding. So I think, I think Finn's been a good boy this year. I so I think Finn Balor goes on the nice list. Uh, we keeping track of this? No. Should I? Do you want me to? I got a pen. Sure. I got a paper. We can do this yeah. old school. Throw, throw them on the nice list. Well, we got it. We have to keep track of this for saying it for fuck's sake. Look at my lovely, look at my lovely little notepad. Look, it's just old school with little lines on it. I'm so cute. Fucking, Whoa. fucking adorable. All right. Finn. Nice. Nice. It looks like I'm writing a list of people's butts. Nice. Um, oh my. Like, like, like whether they have nice butts or not. Okay. Uh, Mike Lucas in the chat says Rhea is on the naughty list for being a home wrecker. I, I don't think that was this year. Was it? I mean, she's just on the naughty list for, for being a little naughty. I, I mean, everybody who thinks about Rhea or looks at any social media post about Rhea is immediately on the naughty list. Also, she's literally two time in Dominic and we all know. And he doesn't. She's dating. She's, she's with some Australian dude. What? I know. She's got two boyfriends. She and could be polyamorous. Not she, that I think that that's a great thing personally. I Listen, it's fine as long as your partners understand that. I don't think that they know. That's It's manipulative. It's, it's hurtful. It's cruel to do to somebody. Again, yeah, I agree. Polyamory is not great. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. I'm fine with it as long as everybody's in an understanding position. I've seen what she wears. I've seen how she works out. Naughty. It's just all naughty. All right. It's very naughty. All right. Yeah. I think, I think. Can you make a case for nice for Rhea? I mean, she's really been a good influence on Dom. In what way? You know, and that he's, uh, he really, he's grown to respect his mommy. And who doesn't. Which also feels naughty. Who doesn't feel like. You know, being you can't call her mommy. That's not being appropriate. nice to your mommy, isn't? This is weird, Freudian shit. Like it's it's gonna cause some long term problems for him. Right. I feel like again, naughty. Yeah. All right. Rhea's Rhea's going naughty, and do we just lump Dom into this now too? Well, hold on. Okay. Sure, he fought his father, but he was already spanked. <laughs> He, <laughs> he learned his lesson. Yeah. Yeah. He, he egged him on. Like he was the guy, like he, these aren't nice things. And, uh, although he did do very nice things for cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> oh, that is very true. Sorry. I was, that should be acknowledged. I was laughing at the chat. Mike Lucas says she turned that sweet boy into a criminal. <laughs> and yeah, you know what? Maybe he is naughty because he's been picking fights with everybody. He's been picking fights with his dad. He's been picking it's fights true. with Cody Rhodes. That is true. Like he's just, He's a troublemaker, he's, and maybe that's you should just get a fucking lump of yeah. Michael Cole in your stocking. Yeah, he's he he's a he, that's a definitive naughty boy right there. I tried to see if I could find something good in him. Yeah, but other than the mullet, which is nice. 
and so honoring honoring his potential true father in Eddie Guerrero. Yep. Um, and that leaves Damian Priest because we're not doing the other guy. <laughs> it looks like he was the one who officially recruited JD. McDudududu. So he recruited, that's a nice gesture he, to involve someone else to bring them in, and somebody that Finn trained and has a personal relationship with. Very considerate. And you know he's he's been the one trying to be friends with Bad Bunny. Right, like True. he was the one going, like, "Hey, we tag team WrestleMania. I know you don't remember me. Yeah, we got a rep Puerto, at all Puerto for Rico. some reason because you wouldn't tag me in, asshole." Um, got to get a spot. And then, up. and then the whole thing with Dominic and Backlash, and then fucking Bad Bunny strikes first and is being out of control, and he's like, "Hey, we used to be friends." So he's the one trying to be helpful. He's the one taking people in and trying to include, and be inclusive. So I, I don't know. I'd say Damian Priest has been good. I think he's also been nice. He's nice. I think he's been nice. Also, he hasn't been uh he hasn't been like trying to murder people with a bow and arrow as much as he used to. Mm -hmm. And I think that's improvement. Yeah, that that's calmed. Like, you know, like anytime you like pretend to shoot somebody with like a gun or like do like a bow and arrow, it's a very violent. It's like this is wrestling. It's not we're not this isn't Skyrim. It's fucking relaxed. Yeah. Calm down, Cash Wheeler and Arn Anderson. <laughs> um, well, there we go. There we go. Uh, Judgment Day 50 50. Two naughties and two nices. I guess that's why they can coexist so well. They yeah. balance each other out. It's also why they're like a number one merch seller, but also getting booed. Let's listen. Hey, you're a little naughty, a little nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right. Where else do you want to go? Who, who, who else do we have to talk about? Oh, analyze? well, I think we should probably jump around a little bit from yeah. uh, different companies. Okay. Should we not? Yes. All right. Well, um, I think we should uh, we should look at uh, maybe AEW, and we should look at the acclaimed and Billy Gunn. Oh my goodness! All right. This is I'm gonna say this is just like a blanket statement. Okay. When I was a kid, I don't know if you went through this. I know a lot of kids. My nieces went through this you have that era where you start experimenting with scissors and you just start like cutting things oh. with scissors around the house. And it's a very naughty thing to do. I remember once uh, my niece just cut the wires off of the back of the like guitar hero or rock band rather drum set. Cause it was just like, she had scissors and it's like, it's like a thing that kids do. Like it's a popular thing. Pe kids also cut their hair. It's a, a lot. popular thing. Yeah. It's a popular thing in parenting. Like I'm sure parents out there are like, yes, this is a thing that happens. Kids develop, kids discover scissors and then they become fucking menaces and they just cut things around the house. They become a real Edward. They become a very Edward scissor hand, singular scissor and one hand. Although it's kids, sometimes it takes two, I'm sure to get the muscles, but these guys walk around fucking scissoring everything. Generally it's a frowned upon each thing. other. They're not, and they're not making crafts. They're not doing those little scissors that have like the zigzags or the little round edges to get like a nice craft right. edge. These ain't crafts. But clearly, they're they're encouraging crafting because people show up to the shows with signs they, they about scissoring. said scissoring. They do. So, are is it just because it's consensual scissoring where people want their their items around their house scissored? Which is huge. You have to have consensual scissoring, right? Mass Lama says, um, they're uh, they're nice because they promote a lot of scissoring, which is a friendship thing. It's yeah, it is. <laughs> so like, is it a blanket nice for the whole group just because or or are some people a little naughtier than some people are nicer? Well, I'd say, you know, um that it, you you gotta look at the three individuals. Like Anthony Bowens, I think is very nice. Like you, undeniably. Max Caster always comes out and does a little rap, usually demeaning to his opponent. Right. Is that necessary? That's honestly, it's, or are you tearing down? It's never in jest. It's never like, Oh, we roast the ones we love. There's never love behind it. It is there. It's mean spirited is what it is. It's mean spirited. Yeah. He's, he's going for the reaction. And then Anthony Bowens waits it out and goes like, Oh, this city. 
you know, and then yeah, the acclaim has arrived. It's all about loving the acclaimed. That he he doesn't he doesn't choose to tear down. But, but is pride? You know, pride is a is a is one of the, the great sins. Is he also? Oh, but we have a whole month of it. <laughs> That's not different. That's a different kind of pride for this group. If I you're know, going after Anthony Bones for that and saying he's naughty, I don't know. Different. Buddy. That's oh, that's difficult. Boy, I, and I don't know how to get myself out of this ditch. Um, <laughs> scissor your way out. Scissor, scissor quickly. I gotta scissor my way out. I gotta come up. You know what? I'm flipping it. Scissoring is fine. Everything scissoring is a positive thing. I got myself out of it by scissoring my way through it. Nice. It's a nice thing. Those kids. They're doing a different kind of scissoring that I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. But I also agree, though. Uh. The 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 mean words. The mean words. You can't get. I can't get past that. You're just being cruel. To yeah. People. You could just say like, "Hey, I don't like you. Neither does this crowd." Right. In fact. Right. In fact, at one point, he even tried to tell one of Rhea's two boyfriends that there's another guy, and didn't even take into like feelings that like this is this is sort of thing that you, you need. It requires some tact. You don't just say it on TV like you sit them down and you say, listen, I feel like, you know, we should have a conversation about this thing that's happening. I, I'm aware of something that your your girlfriend's doing or your fiance, whatever the fuck they are. Like, you know, like have have a little bit of common sense and tact and, and, and decency. We all know for a fact that wrestlers only experience what happens in that moment on TV. Right. They never go back to see what happened before. No. If they get punched in the face by their tag team partner, they don't investigate no. how it happened. No. They just only know you punched me in the face. There couldn't have been any other circumstances that caused a mishap. Yeah. Um, so if you're going and telling about there was somebody else, like how are they supposed to know that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think uh, Max Caster is on the naughty. is on the naughty list. Yeah. Anthony Bowens. Nice. Nice. Plus, you know what? Not for nothing, but he's just got a lovely name. Anthony Bowens. It's just, it's like a warm hug. Anthony Bowens. You want your kids to date an Anthony Bowens. Oh, 100%. They sound, they sound like a straight shooter. But what if he starts going by Tony? Tony Bowens? Tony Bo- No, that kid's trouble. Yeah, Tony Bowens is trouble. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't, Such a great like name. Tony, Tony Bowens. Bowens. Oh, fucking Tony Bowens over here. Tony Bowens is, uh, I think he's, he's hanging out with that gang across the street. I don't like it. But Billy Gunn um, called his sons. He, he, he said, like, fuck you yeah, to them on television. That's so... He said he called him a son of a bitch, which is tearing down his wife. Yeah. He's fought them in a match. He hasn't refused. He retired. He came out of retirement, pulling at people's heartstrings. Sure, they won the titles and they're doing great now, but it's 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 a lot of manipulation. I think and it's uh I think it's bad. You mentioned how you think Finn at sometimes is a little bit naughty because he like withholds stuff from himself. He's unkind to himself. I think that Billy Gunn just doesn't care about anybody else's feelings. Like he's all about like whatever it is, whatever makes me feel good right in this moment. He doesn't take anything into consideration. I think he's definitely naughty. Sometimes he's a real ass, man. <laughs> comma, ass, comma, man. Yeah, yeah, ass, comma, man. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That is a naughty. That is a naughty little ass man. I told you we were making a list about well, people's asses. <laughs> well, good for Anthony Bowens. Yeah, Anthony Bowens making it to the yeah, making it to the nice list. Does our chat have any suggestions? Just want to check in with them. Uh, let's as see. We're going along here. Um, I mean, Mass Lama went right to Tony Khan. So should is that? Are we just gonna? You want to rip that bandit off right now? Sure. All right. He says, got to give Tony Khan a naughty for the, quote, big signing stunt he pulled last week for announcing the sign of a signing of a guy regularly on his show already. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't work there. Like, he's just no. a he's just a featured guy. I mean, same with Kota Ibushi. Like, he's had people come also, and going. All right. Let's talk Tony Khan. This mm-hmm. guy's giving people work. Listen, there's a we have a shortage of jobs. Cocaine dealer, Adderall dealer. Right. Like. All these pharmacists right. are just working overtime. He is like, uh, you know, we can talk about how much Biden's done for the economy, but this is like next level. Tony Khan is <laughs> the economy is out of control in Florida. He is hiring everybody. He's paying everybody. Everybody's working near him. Just think if there was a bunch of Ukrainian wrestlers, he could help out. Who, who could imagine such a situation? 
Who could? Um, he he has been very generous with his father's money. He really has. Also, though, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. He did also give somebody another person, an indentured servitude and ownership of people. That's real naughty shit. That's like next level naughty shit. But when it's Ric Flair, okay, does that help even it no, out? No, because. You're because g- you know he's a crazy old man. He's going to whip his dick out exactly. in a second. You, not only did you give Sting a human being, a human life yeah. as a gift, but also that person is a fucking sexual predator awful. <laughs> like, you literally gave Sting, like, tr- PTSD, trauma. Like, here you go. Yeah. Good luck not getting sexually assaulted. That's this right. is. I don't know. This is going to be a hard dig for it. Did Hard he even and out, though, when Tony Khan went, okay, I'm going to give you this guy, but then a week later, he's like, and now I'll put that guy under contract. So I'm going to pay your sexual predator who is yours yeah, it's, as well. It's making it worse. It's all just making it worse. I don't know. But don't, does one wrong undo all the rights? I know that's true. That is true. Because also, like we talk about in the show, people should have the op- ability to change. And I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure Ric Flair has had very earnest, heartfelt apologies about his actions many times in his life, right? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, he's definitely atoned. Listen, if we're all okay with, uh, you know, with the uh, uh, Mr., not Mr. T, with uh, uh, Mike Tyson, you know, like going on, I think uh, Ric Flair, we're all going to give him. Well, he, I mean, Tyson went to prison exactly. to serve time. That's the, I'm trying to draw a parallel because yeah, clearly yeah, yeah. Ric Flair has done, done to atone. Ric Flair was in a hospital bed for a while, yeah. so, you know, that's something. Uh, you know, and I'd also, this was a tough year for Tony Khan because he had the greatest show ever in wrestling history. And also at that very same show, he almost died. Which one was that collision? No, this was oh, all, oh, in the all in at Wembley right. where CM Punk almost killed him, nearly murdered him. All right. I mean, he brought a W England, that's a good thing. English people, they like wrestling and they need it. They deserve, they deserve it. They deserve it. C-A-W, but also, you know, what did he do to deserve what Punk did? Because you know he did some shit that's not on the nut. That's that's naughty list worthy. Well, like not communicate well, not have anybody to pick up Punk. Yeah. Not interject with this situation with Jack Perry. Yeah. It's not like he put talent on separate shows to keep them apart so there would be no skirmishes or issues. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think Tony Khan's on the naughty list, Scott Narver. What? I think he's on the naughty list. I would put him on the nice list. For what? For just because he almost got murdered? And he's hired so many people. Yeah, but... Including a sexual... uh, (laughs) No, he's not predator. I, 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 I tried to distinguish defender. this the other night. What is he? He's a sex offender. They're, a sex offender. Yeah, he's a walking sex offender. <laughs> Sorry that we're joking so cavalierly about this, but it's a wrestling show, everybody. Um, I mean, it's Ric Flair it's also. Second so Ric Flair. It, so, I, I, he, Tony's done so much. I'm gonna weigh it. The, the, this, the scales of justice. I gotta go. He just ekes out. On nice, I, and I'm gonna go naughty. He waited a whole month. I'm gonna go. To not hire I'm gonna go naughty. So we're gonna need a tiebreaker from our listeners. Okay, so okay. this one's gonna be left open. Everybody, call the hotline. Let us know whether Tony Khan has been naughty or nice. Seven four seven six 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 five six zero six. Tony Khan is he on the naughty list or is he on the nice list, and why? Don't just yeah. tell us that he is or he isn't. Seven four seven six 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 five six zero six. Tony Khan. I I gotta go naughty. Scott's gotta go nice. So that one is gonna yep. that one's gonna be left for for a future episode to see what the uh, what the listeners say. Tony Khan? Question mark. Um. All right. Want to go? Uh, you want to go other side of things? Want to go Triple H or Vince? Let's go Triple H. Let's just make it easy on ourselves. I was gonna say we could go even easier. For the oh. Impact Wrestling's director of authority. Oh, okay. Santino Morella. Santino Morella. All right, you're you're gonna have to. I don't know a ton about what Santino's been up to. All Do you I'm think gonna he's been up to something terrible. All I'm gonna assume is that he's the nice. director of authority. No, but he's he's Santino, and so 
I, I'm going to just go nice because I like the guy, but I'm a little biased because he's Santino. And how can Santino be he, naughty? Even when he's... He has a badge now. Even when he's mischievous, he's not naughty. He's just a little cheeky. He, he has a badge now. He enforces rules and law. And so what you're saying is, are you saying ACAB? Is that what you're saying right now? All cops are bastards? No, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, so... so, so. No, I'm, I'm saying we need that. Oh, so you... You need... We've, we've gone through the times of general managers and, you know, authority figures, and then they kind of waver, and then we have them, and we don't. And, you know, WWE's incorporating them again, but it's... It, we, we need someone like this. We need... The buck stops at Santino. He's got a badge. And when you say the buck, you don't mean the literal buck because TNA doesn't have any money, right? You mean like the figurative buck, not the young bucks either. No, okay. no, 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 no. He brings in uh, talented people. Yes. He brought Kozlov back, who's not Kozlov. It's like Oleg yes. something. But he brought him back into the yeah, fold. We didn't even talk about How that. How is that not on the nice We didn't list. talk about that, but that I, I'm ex- I like that. I want to see more of Kozlov and see what he's doing. I liked him. I was a Kozlov fan. He's been working stunts and doing Hollywood stuff. I'm, I've not heard it said on air yet. Oleg Prudius is, I'm okay. guessing, how it is said. All right. I mean, again, giving people work, bringing people, you know, he's, he's, a, he's like a friend, family kind of guy where he's like, oh, I want to work with people I know. And, you know. And making sure nothing bad goes down. Like, he should be the one who's helping out Santa this year. But no, it's us. So, so I, I say yeah. I say nice. Santino Morella on the nice list. Good job, Santino. By the way, it's uh he's got a streak. I, he's been on the nice list for like 26 years straight. Mm-hmm. There was that one year that he killed the guy, but we don't we don't need to talk about that. Well, and the, the other year he stole right. a subway sandwich from Jerry Lawler. Absolutely. But luckily, Naughty luckily list. he built that statute of limitations. And so uh yeah, um of Jared holding up his pants. <laughs> uh all right, who, who's who's next? Who's next on your list? Go, oh, you go. Oh, you... Uh, well, let's go Triple H then. Since I said it earlier, I alluded to it. Let's let's go Triple H. Triple H. Triple H. So, I mean, right? In recent memory, he's making people wrestle in two rings surrounded by a cage. That's not a very nice thing to do to force people to 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 essentially uh, fight in like a a. a, a animal cage like a zoo yeah <laughs> like yeah. it's like you put a that's, bunch of animals that don't get along in a zoo in the same habitat and went let's see what happens and it's also like there's no yeah. rules there's no rules for like 25 minutes of the match just because you got family drama doesn't mean you have to right. fuck everyone else's right. life up triple h so so that's a, kind of a notch on the naughty list it's like it was oh yeah survivor series used to be a nice family affair you get around, you get around your Thanksgiving table, and you'd watch a, 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 few, a few guys who were like, "Hey, we all see eye to eye. Let's all be a family together, and then wrestle this other team. And then one, one by one, we're all gonna get, we're gonna have to go home. Uh, you know, hit the locker rooms. But it was fine. It was nice. It was sweet. People brought out, you know, their their a new side of themselves. But now he's like, no war games. War? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. So this is kind of a notch on the naughty side for Triple H. Yeah, uh, one thing on the nice side is ever since he has retired, he has become a water conservationist. That is true. And has stopped wasting it. That is true. When he goes out to the ring and just also, goes, I got so much money, Mike, and then spits it everywhere. Mike does say he's he is nice for cleaning up Vince's mess of a company. By the way, I just want to say, Mike Lucas. Has he? Mike Lucas and Mass Lama are both in the chat right now talking back and forth. They both have ML as their initials, and they both have a tiny little black and white icon. <laughs> And it's very confusing to look at very abruptly. Um, he's cleaned up Vince's company. You don't think that he's that he's uh, that that's I feel like Ari Emanuel did that. Okay. Just by firing a and bunch possibly of possibly Nick Khan. Okay. Have sooner Okay, but what about done that? But what about not from a capitalistic point of view, but the presentation? Has he cleaned up the presentation of the company? What looks any different? They still go to Saudi. You're not wrong. Isn't Saudi dirty? Saudi's and real I don't dirty. Mean the land, I mean that's, the blood nope, money. That's real. That's real, real naughty. And um, I don't know. I, I, it's very hard to find the 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 nice points of Triple H this year. 
I'm yeah. looking for them, but I don't know what they are. I mean, did he? Was this the year that he pretty much gave NXT to his best friend Shawn Michaels? Because that was a nice thing to do. Except he gave him like a colorful, shitty NXT two point oh, which is like that's a kind of a bad thing. It's like, hey, do you want NXT? He gave him a broken one. He's like, yeah, I want. I really want to run NXT. And I was like, great, but it's this version. And he goes, ah, shit. Is Adam Cole there? No. Ah, goddamn it. And he didn't say, let me help you. No. No. He didn't say, here, well, we'll do something together. Yeah, I gotta go. Clean. He didn't say, here, here's a staff of, here's X Pac. I, I gotta go clean up he the didn't... old man's mess. But he gave him a road dog, I think. Didn't he give him a road dog to write some stuff or produce some stuff? I don't know. I think he was there. He was lingering around. And road dog, when has he not been there when Triple H has any semblance of power? That's a good point. Yeah, Triple H, I don't know. Triple H might be on the naughty list this year. Has Kevin Nash got any work? Don't think so. Oh, no. that's a good point. When was the last time you saw China on TV? Yeah. Can he get her in the Hall of Fame? Um, Cheat on the lady and can't get her in the Hall of Fame. Triple H. I'm sorry, but you're on the naughty list this year. Yeah. Pull out. Pull out of the Saudi deal. Cut your losses. Pay whatever it costs. I'm sure it's cheaper than Vince's fucking attorney fees. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Who next? Who next? Should we- Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg? What? I haven't even seen him in a year. That's already not. He's, he has not been on TV burying new talent. Nice list. New talent? A younger talent. I'm sorry, not new talent. Younger talent. What? Younger than him? Yeah. Oh, when he fought that Undertaker, he's burying new, younger talent. I guess I was thinking more of like the like the McIntyres and the Romans, even though I don't even remember. Did he win the title from one of them? That whole fucking era, 2020, is just a blur. I have I, He won from some was, of them, but not all of them. He was a champion. He beat one, some, Did he beat Bray? Well, yeah, when you have two. I think he beat Bray, maybe, or the Fiend for it. Yeah, but then I think Braun beat him because Roman no-showed WrestleMania. Right. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I got leukemia. Yeah, it's a tired excuse. I mean, the last person he beat for that title was Bray Wyatt, which is that's naughty list behavior. But again, we, we're not judging for something that happened three years ago. No. And I would think he's been pretty nice because so many wrestling fans are upset about him and feel like he's he's been around too much. Right. He's not there uh, right now. And when was the last time you saw his kid in public with the shirt off? That kid has been clothed and out of sight. Which are the two things? Nick Hogan, take note. Uh, no, Terry Hogan, Terry Bollea, you take fucking note because <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about uh, you know Goldberg. So the equivalents would be Hogan. Usually we're talking about his son. I know, just now. Yeah, I know. But as it reflects on the father, <laughs> is the point we're trying to make. But all Hulk Hogan does, he has a shirt on, and it feels awful, and he tears it in half. Yeah. yeah. Setting a terrible example for Nick Hogan. Whereas Goldberg, he's put that, he's, he was like, he, you know what, kid? Your shirt's on from now on. But Goldberg doesn't wear a shirt. And that kid was at a show. He's like, you know what? This is coming off. He's like, mm, you have a little teeth. Prob- I wouldn't do that if I were you. The problem that Goldberg's kid has is that he walks around headbutting the fucking furniture and the walls and the doors. And it's, God, I've taught him all the worst habits. I'm going to say Goldberg's on the nice list just because he hasn't been around. Yeah, and you know what? I also know for as a as a as a fact that Santa loves Santa sleigh, and every year that earns massive points. You know what? Because sure. when Santa sit back uh, sits back and watches Santa sleigh, he's like, "If only." He's like, "If only," because he, he watches it. and He's like, "Yeah, I'd do that to Chris Kattan." <laughs> And I'm like, Jesus, Santa Rosa. It's like, God, in, what, what? Everybody else is all right. In but, fairness, uh, Chris, I would do that. Mike Lucas in the chat does say Goldberg is Jewish. So the whole Santa thing may be a conflict of interest. But listen, we don't, this isn't about that. Okay. Everybody, the Look, list is everybody. Santa drinks Coca Cola. This is worldwide. Anybody this, can get gifts from yeah, Santa. Santa isn't you just have exclusively to, uh, give in. It's not exclusively for Gentiles. Yeah. And Goldberg. Jewish, really? Are we sure about that? Yeah, yeah. He has a tattoo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He's not going to get buried in a Jewish cemetery. Yeah. So. Um. All right. Who else? Do you want to go? Uh, 
let's let's do listen we 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 mentioned him earlier he's announced that the end is near here let's talk about the icon sting oh yeah i mean i feel like the icon i feel like sting's been on the nice list for a long time Mm -hmm. perpetual nice list kind of guy yeah it was naughty the year that he dressed up as the crow sting okay because people were like Whoa, hey man, yeah, that looks cool, but you fucking ripped off the crow? Seriously? That's not all right. He was naughty that year. Right. Right. And then people were like, oh, well, the other crow movies suck. And, and this is this is working. And Edward Furlong was the crow, and then, you know, he went on the naughty list. And so it was a whole ordeal with the crow. Santa follows the crow very intensely. Okay. He's a big fan. But big fan. But I feel like Sting. You know, he, he had the mishap where he tried to, he's trying to stay youthful and stay with everybody and do that table, that spot where he jumped. And then the table, like, uh, with Sammy Guevara, like, jolted up into his jaw, right. like, fucking knocked his teeth right. and all that. So that's, that's just, that's, that's a mistake where it's like, that's on you. But you know what, though? It's not neither naughty but or nice. Was, You're trying to help out. And but. he was also just trying to give the fans a little something. That's a nice thing to do. I will say, Mike Lucas mm-hmm. in the chat, Sting is naughty for lying about retirement. But that wasn't this year. This year, he was honest about it for the first time. And he mentioned the last time he said, uh, what did he say? He said something last time that was like, well, none of us know the future or something like that. Right. Yeah, he's saying, yeah, he'd already come back. He'd already done things like we, we're only we're only in the the parameters of 2023, right. where he's saying next year is going to be his last match. Right. So if next year he, you know, goes back on that, then oh, he's going to be fucking naughty for sure. I mean, maybe he's a little bit naughty because he hangs out with a dirtbag skateboarding kid, you know. But he's also taking a kid under his wing who's troubled. Yeah, but he's wearing his jackets from time to time. Big Brother program. What do you call those? Like that? They always look like they're inside out. Buster, right? The like the it looks like the lining of a jacket, but it's just that. And skater kids wear it. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know the name of the style or the or the name of the garment itself. Okay, but Curtis Mason does make a good point. It's not very nice to hit people with bats. That's what Jericho does. He fucking stole it. Sting rarely ever does it now because he's always looking for his bat and, and someone's like, Jericho took it from you. He's like, oh man. Jericho stole my bat. Um, and he was given a gift this year of a of a of a sex offender, and maybe he'll right turn turn him right around. <laughs> so you think that he's going to be a good influence on his property. That was given to him by Tony Khan. But does he get grouped yeah, into he, now, like being the owner of a person because he was gifted to Sting? Does Sting get a little bit of that naughty rub off? No pun intended. No dirty, no <laughs> dirtiness intended from Tony Khan. Does Sting get a naughty rub off from Flair? <laughs> Fucking move. I'm moving on. Um, completely off topic, but I'm digging Jake's shirt, Mass Llama. Cool. You can buy it at dragonmagshop.com. And if it's not in there, let me know and I'll put it back in there because I probably took it down, but I will put it back up if you would like to. Why? Because you're wearing it. That's weird. Yeah. This, this is the one. It's just the one shirt. It's a whole nother <laughs> this level. This is the one shirt. Like, I sell this one shirt. If people see me wearing this today, I'm taking it down off the shop so no one can buy it. Uh, I wonder if Sting met Darby through the Big Brother program. That's what I said, Mike Lucas. He's like his big brother. It's like big brother, big sister. Yeah. Um, I see nice. But I don't know. I think... If we're stepping back and we're looking at the year in review in its entirety, I do think Sting is on the nice list. Yeah, I agree. He's a nice fella. Um all righty. Uh Becky Lynch. Let's get some ladies here. Hmm. Becky Lynch. Um s- recently set a record, a television record. On Jeopardy. Did you see this? Oh, yeah. Celebrity Jeopardy had no answers correct in the entire primary Jeopardy round. She did well. She had one of the worst Jeopardy performances. 
Was she against like a Ken Jennings or something? I forget who she was in there against, but she got the genius Lanny Poffo, she, perhaps. <laughs> she uh she got the the triple jeop a triple jeopardy answer correct, and then the final jeopardy answer correct. But other than that, had no other correct answers. But she was also on the weekend. Was she answering everything? Like every, every yeah. time, it's like. I think what is this? What is this? What not is this? no. What is this? I don't is... think she was answering everything, but there were a few in there that were that were just wrong. But she was then also on the weakest link, celebrity weakest link with the new day, and they refused to vote each other off, and so she didn't win. But she only got one question wrong on weakest link. So she didn't throw anybody under the bus on weakest I link. I Believe so. And it's a it's a weird distinction on celebrity jeopardy, as you say, because like she didn't get any questions right. Right. But if she's not even buzzed in or if she's not first, then can you blame her for not getting right. it? Maybe she's not quick on the draw. Very good point. Very good point. Because if she's, you know, if she were to maybe say like, what is Seth Rollins? Who is Seth Rollins? Where is Seth Rollins? For every answer, right. for every question, I should say, because it's Jeopardy. Um, then you'd be like, all right, that now you're being naughty because you're just fucking up everybody else's chances. Um, I do want to say that she went for charity. She did. Right. Yes. That's for charity. for charity. Also, Mike Lucas, Becky's on the nice list. She should get an encyclopedia for Christmas. I don't, is that a, I don't know what that is a reference to. Is that a reference to the Jeopardy joke? I can't, I'm not sure. But then following that, Curtis Mason, Becky Lynch did some nice things for NXT recently, and she's helping take oh, yeah. down damage control at Survivor Series. Anybody at the level of Becky Lynch willing to go to NXT 2.0, <laughs> Nickelodeon, NXT Elodian, as I'm now calling it, that's a nice thing. You did a nice thing. She also took a really crunchy Lita to WrestleMania. That is true. But wait, was that? Yes, that was this past year. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think Becky Lynch is on that nice. Plus, you just, you're putting up with Seth Rollins on a daily basis. You're like, you're co-parenting with Seth Rollins. That's got to be fucking exhausting. Oh, yeah. That poor woman. She deserves, she's not only she on the nice list, but she deserves like an extra little something. Sainthood. An extra little something, something. She might get sainthood. Um, all right. Yeah, but he did clarify. Yes. Saint Becky. She means well, but needs some more. She, yeah, that's, how. where's that gimmick? Has nobody ever done like Wait. a saint gimmick in wrestling? You kind of went like, sorry, I said, Mike Lucas said, yes, she means well, but she needs more education in reference to his encyclopedia thing. So he was, oh. he was referencing that, but. Sidebar. Well, it's all American stuff. I mean, right. she's hardly that. We're talking in circles here, but that's a good idea. Has nobody ever done a saint gimmick in wrestling? I'd say Mordecai's bordering right. on it. Okay, sure. But just that, like, sort of like, oh, like, also, speaking of Seth Rollins, the Messiah is sort of that, the Monday Night Messiah, when he was, like, being all Jesus-y, CrossFit Jesus. Well, there's Saint Nick, who we're helping out. That, that is a good point. And he's in wrestling all the time. We saw him. He, he gets fucking beat up constantly. Yeah. But he also he also fucks some shit up. Just because he's in. Just he's, but I feel like he gets beat up way just more. Just because he's in a fuzzy, f some fuzzy fucking boots doesn't mean he can't kick some ass. That's right. Becky Lynch on the nice list. Yeah. All right. Who do we got? Okay. You were talking... Ladies, so let's stick with some ladies here. I'd love to stick with some ladies. Calm down, Flair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You you love talking about her. I do? Athena. Formerly Amber I, Moon. I don't... Okay. She's on my nice list just because I haven't seen her overacting for the past 12 months. So as long as I'm not seeing it, it's great. I don't know. She's ROH Women's World Champion. Okay. You know how you have to get that title? You have to beat up a woman. That's not a nice thing to do. I've been told that all the time. Oh, I grew up in Texas. I was not told this. <laughs> not a lesson that was taught. No. In fact, they said something somewhat different. I think it was. Uh... Never mind. Not pulling that. Uh, 2023, her overall record is 12 and 3. So she beats up a lot of ladies. Beat up 12 women. And there's probably oh, a lot of howling it's, going it's on. It's ROH, so th there could be some dudes in there. Could be. So you, it's kind of the Goldberg effect yes. for you, like, right? It's, out of sight. It's 
out of sight, out of, out of mind. You haven't done anything to wrong. If anybody anyone that's listening watches, I'd love to know whether uh you know you want to call the hotline or, or post in the Discord if it's more immediate. Like, uh, has she gotten any better? Has she become a better actress? Because by the way, I was never upset at a wrestling. I think she's a fantastic wrestler. And if she had a good gimmick and was a good actress, it would enhance that wrestling tremendously. Mm-hmm. I can't say for certain because I have not watched her either. So I don't know. But, you know, I feel like she's not gone on any social media tirades. Okay. She hasn't torn anybody down publicly as far as I'm aware. Okay. She's been out of the news when there's been so many things that have upset people or people getting in tirades and tiffs. Okay. I think by default, she goes under the nice list. All right. So Athena. Athena. Athena is nice. Nice list. Um. Okay. What about. All right. I'm going to give you this one. Michael, okay. Michael Cole. We're going to do some commentators. <laughs> I know, I know default, but I got to think, about, think the about the year. I got to think about it. He's very, he was so mean, the top taller that the, the, the company fired him. <laughs> right. But was that this year? Yeah. That was, yeah. This year. wasn't okay. he, wasn't top dollar fired in like the summer, I think. Could be. Let me look it up. I know this has been the year that Vince McMahon wasn't on headset right. for periods of time. So Michael Cole said things that it's like, oh, normally he would never say that. He gave a shout out to Don West on commentary. <gasps> so does that mean that he's nice, though, for doing such things? Yeah. For just uh, yeah, maybe. having a little bit of freedom? Yeah, maybe. Or is it too self-indulgent? It's like, hey, just because the boss is in the ear doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want. That's right. But you've been I'm that it, you've been a real Ric Flair to Sting. I'm that spirit to, to Vince McMahon for a right. long time. So now do you do you get to go off the rails like that? Uh by the way, yeah. He Top Dollar was only like oh like in September in that same group that Ziggler was with Elias and Emma and Mufasta and Boogs and all that. And this is why I haven't been watching, because I miss all of them equally. You know. I will say, uh, uh, John Cena was back recently, and mm-hmm. he says very nice things about John Cena. He's very nice about John Cena. Most people say very mean things about John Cena. Do they? Yeah, they say John. C- Other than Alex they Riley, they say Cena sucks a lot of times. Well, some people say, "Let's go, Cena." I know, I know that, but but there are people who choose to say the other things. And Michael Cole is a very nice boy, and he says he's one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time, in his mind. This might fall under the category again of default, because I can't think of anything egregious other than uh, Michael Cole commentating right. that would put him on the naughty list. Okay. All right. This year. This year. I can think of things plenty in other years, but it's like, yeah, he's been pretty quiet this year. Although, I believe, so what I believe, yeah. maybe you know, or maybe the chat knows and can confirm, but I think Michael Cole is flat out like in charge of the commentators that are hired at WWE. Oh, is he? He's, yes. I thought it was the other guy. Um who was the other fuck? I can't think of the other guy, but I thought it was another guy. Booker T. I thought it was another guy who was like not on TV anymore, but used to be on TV. Used to be a commentator who was like the 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 top of the totem pole, but I could be wrong now. I can't think of who, who that person is. But anyways, he's probably it's but if just like yes. who who is in charge of he's probably just commentator. The head of like, a broadcast team. Yes, probably. Yeah. John Quasto ain't working there. But and he did. But that wasn't this year. He didn't get fired this year, though. I know he didn't get hired this year, but guess he didn't what? Didn't get rehired either. He didn't get hired back this year. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? I while I understand that, I think that that is our personal bias because we love Johnny and we want Johnny to work for the company. Yeah. And I don't think we should allow our personal bias to enhance the only negative thing, the only naughty list thing. I think we need to be more objective, 
Santa would want that. Santa would want us to put our, our feelings aside and do this objectively. I thought Santa encouraged bitterness and holding grudges. Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. Oh, he's up. He's all about change and growth and, 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 uh, trying to kill. Oh, Krampus. Trying, trying to, <laughs> thinking of Krampus. Trying to, Son of a bitch. Trying to kill Walter Goggins. Um, Okay. I do have a side gig with Krampus, so uh, I confused okay, the two. Okay. Michael Cole, I handed it to Scott, and it's nice. Let's let's <laughs> let's go to the obvious other side of this. Excalibur. Naughty. <laughs> no no conversation necessary. He's 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 a liar, first off. Why is he a liar? Because he's hiding something. His face? This is a rule that Santa's always put down. Like, if you're wearing a mask, that means you're Are a liar. All masks naughties? By, by default, and then you got to work your way wow. through to get to nice. But right away, you're a liar. Okay. All right. I like it. So Excalibur, constantly hiding his face, he's a liar. Wow. Right off of the bat. There it is. But he's also, he's always trying to t give everybody information. He's always trying to let everybody know who the people on TV are by telling them things that they did 10 years ago in a company that doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. Or how he wrestled them in Dusseldorf, Germany. Isn't that nice, though? Isn't that a nice thing to do? No, because that cuts into Tony Schiavone saying what a great time you know he's what? having. You're right. Let the man enjoy himself, Excalibur. <laughs> yeah, audibly. Excalibur. He is old, and he's going to have to walk around the entire arena six times over. Naughty list. <laughs> Naughty list. You you talk too much. There are at least three other commentators out there at a time. Let them get a word in. All right. Um, let's do one more big one, and then we'll do we'll do a quick thing at the end here before we go. Okay. Who's the last? Who's the last big one you want to do? You pick. I got one for you because we didn't talk about this in the news. Oh, okay, let's do it. So we got a we got a controversial one for Santa here. Last, okay, from last week's program, we omitted Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Oh man, now you're really testing me here because you know what? Because you know what happened here. Do you know what happened? The last I heard was the news from four weeks ago. Our episode where she wrestled that small indie company to benefit the like Australian something or other to help with the fires. And it was a very nice thing of her to do. Oh, sure. And then this past week she made her debut at ROH. Okay. What did she do there? Helping out Marina Shafir. And I don't know if she thinks she knows her or not, but that could be a whole nother ball of trouble right there. But she, at the time of this recording, Ronda Rousey is not under contract with AEW or ROH. But she's now officially debuted at ROH. Okay. So she was in WWE, and then she's gonna go away, and then she's gonna be done. Yeah, but and then she's back, and now she's playing. She's playing the field. WWE people were very mean to her. The fans were very mean to her, present company included. <laughs> and uh, listen, it's not it's not a bad thing to go and try to find people who to, who would be nice to you. She went. She did a charity gig. She made a ton of money for a good cause. That's a very nice thing to do. You weren't on any shows that I watched. That's a very nice thing to do. Once again, this is the, the Goldberg Athena effect. Um, you know, I don't know. I think, but she said she was going to step away. She said she was going to be done. Yeah. But isn't she there just to, with her friend? Is she like really there, there? No, like you said, like you said, not under contract with anybody. No, which isn't that even worse. Also, a handshake deal in 2023. No, no, keeping options open is healthy. Also, she didn't. Oh, so polyamorous. She didn't you. poorly voice any classic video game characters this year. And that's a step up. That's, that's true. a step in the right direction. So she didn't tear down Sonya Blade. So that is she a good point. Might, may, maybe she's not like the nicest. But if we're comparing to previous and we're, we're judging this on a curve of like this person and where they are in their journey throughout their lives, I don't know. I think that she's on the nice list this year. 
I'm going to see if she wrestled in this match. Does that make a difference? Um, as long as she didn't do anything very, very mean and very, very naughty. As long as she didn't like use a foreign object or hit the referee or hit the, hit the component behind her back, then she's still in the nice Wait list. a second. Think of her and Shayna. Okay. They're not friends. They fought. She turned her back on Shayna Baszler. Okay. Okay. That's not but nice Shayna Baszler, at Shay- all. Yeah, but Shayna was, uh, Shayna's naughty. She was so naughty when she did that. Why was Shayna naughty? She was the one being cheered. Okay, I don't remember that. Okay, clearly that's not a thing I recall. So, I'm going to completely 180. Yes, 100% naughty thing to do is to turn her back. But was that this year, though? Again, we're talking about right direction. She did that. Wait, that was this past year she turned on? Yeah, because Ronda's last year at WWE was this year, and she ended her whole run and everything with Shayna. Oh, I th- why do I feel like that was like 17 years ago? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. You're convincing me. I think I think she is. You turn your back on your friend. That's naughty shit. Only one of your friends, but then you're showing up for another friend. This is what I'm talking about. She's a really, in the, she's really in the middle here. Yeah, but she chose the the non talented friend. Oh, that's the naughty the one part. who's bad on the that's mic. That's the naughty part. Is that by hitching your wagon to the dullest horse? <laughs> yeah, you don't do that. All right. Even the blonde lady who's off somewhere else right now. It's like that would have been a better choice. Ronda Rousey, naughty. There you have it. Um, okay, Scott Narver. Yeah, and she wrestled in the match. We obviously she wrestled. We obviously have a lot to get through here. Um, so we let's do some speed round, naughty or nice. What do you say? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, oh wait. Uh, so all, do, I'm doing it like Tony Khan. What does that mean? Oh, on speed. speed no, 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 speed. no, no. I'm sorry. Don't you can put the don't take that whatever you cut up there on the table. Don't put that. Push that aside. Put it down. Yeah, put it down. Don't 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 have whatever okay. that is. Um, just do this sober if you could. But we're gonna go speed round. All okay. Right. All right. You ready? Yep. L.A. Knight. Uh, nice. Why? Because um, he he he's not calling anybody a dummy. Oh, okay. Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill. Uh, nice. She was ghosted by her boss, and then she went somewhere else. Who who uh, constantly just, uh, they gave her a car. She didn't have to worry about driving. All right. Um. Take a take take note, Nick Hogan. All right, Chad Gable. Chad Gable, um, uh, naughty, constantly shushing people, constantly shushing people, and um, when he's constantly riding someone else's gimmick, let's see you bulk up to the size of Otis already. All right. All righty, okay, Evil Uno, Evil Uno, naughty. Why? His name is. Evil. All right. Fair point. Also in a mask. Uh, as we previously yeah. uh, said, I should try to check with that later. Okay. Luchasaurus. Well, also wearing but a mask. Is, no, that's his face. Uh, He's a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's true. Shit. Um, but he is, he's, he's evil. He's hanging out with Christian cage and Christian's very, very evil. And he's hanging out with Nick Wayne and he's, I think a wrestler still. Okay. I think he's a wrestler. All right, Edge. Who? I'm sorry. Adam Copeland. Oh. Both 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 of those names have existed this year, though. So you could <laughs> you could true. answer for both. Adam Copeland, I think he is nice because he is he is only thinking of his family by taking a shit ton of money from Tony Khan to do whatever for a couple of years and to just have his great great grandchild be able to drive a rocket ship. Um okay. All right. Uh Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso uh nice because he is still maintained a look that can help me differentiate him and Jay Uso. All right. I like that. I like that very much. Billy Corgan. Billy Corgan. Um, naughty. Ooh. Why is that? Because he still hasn't brought back into the fire and for the show. That's the only reason the Dawkins song. Oh, okay. What about MJF? 
MJF. Yes. Nice. Because he's he's trying to make friends. He's trying to turn a new leaf. He he occasionally still makes fun of people and does that. But he brought pickles. He has MJF pickles. <laughs> um, which is that's so that's, that's a that's that a, a nice thing. Nice thing. Because who doesn't love a little? Okay, one half of the AEW tag champions, Ricky Starks. Uh, um, Ricky's naughty. Why is that? I mean, everything he's done, he's he's been cheating. He tried to fight Ricky Steamboat, and Ricky Steamboat actually had retired. Okay, and he tried to bring him out of retirement. I mean, he's just he's just a naughty boy, just an all around naughty boy. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. What about uh, Carl? Um, oh God damn it, I forgot his name. Uh, Carl Weathers, no. Carlito. <laughs> um, nice. Why? I'm surprised. I thought you were just always. He's always naughty to you. Because uh, much like uh, Triple H, he stopped wasting apples. <laughs> oh, so he's a food conservationist. Yeah, he's a food conservationist. He's thinking about starving children in other uh, regions of the oh, world. Oh, that's so nice of him. Um, what about Michael Nakazawa? <laughs> um, naughty, because there are other people on the headset, and he doesn't, he actually, he activates his radio headset all the time and whenever he's talking and doing shit like there are people working at the show trying to do stuff and he's ringside calling spots and doing stuff they're like get off the line we're trying to we're trying figure to figure out what to do cues trying to fucking work here dude yeah so he's inconsiderate and naughty wow i didn't i really didn't see that one coming um yeah uh big e langston who oh, i'm sorry big e Tough one. I know it's not necessarily this year, but it's he is because uh, now the crowds are chanting meat slap and meat, which is made famous yeah. by him. Um, Biggie, Biggie is nice. Yeah, because he his his sweat is uh, is is ending any droughts wherever he's at. Oh, the amount of sweat. He oh, just that's so nice. That's exudes from so himself from, we got from, we have this we've had water conservation now we have water creation mm-hmm. <laughs> he's got he's literally yeah. hydrating we've gone the full gamut here all right what about walt my god think of if, if biggie one time just filled up triple h's water bottle with <laughs> his sweat god, that's so gross what about what about walter uh who walter no i'm sorry i i, I thought i was saying the new name they it worked on me i finally switched it has finally worked um, and I can't think of his fucking, his name, Gunther. There it is. By the way, ch- there chat, it is. throw some out at me too here. Gunther is, uh, is nice because he's, uh, I believe from, from all the matches I've seen of Gunther, he is fighting fairly in his matches. He, I have not seen him cheating. Oh, he's fighting on yeah. the up and up and well, defending. He's the ring general, the intercontinental championship and bringing prestige to that title. I, I agree. He respects that ring. And he's a good fucking dancer, and he danced at his wedding. So <laughs> he was, knows he know he is like a walking yeah, mullet. He, he is business in the front, and he parties in also, the back. Also, that was just a nice wedding video. It was just cute. Okay, what about Danhausen? Evil. I mean, naughty. Well, okay, just because he's evil. He's evil. Yeah, face, his face paint, and he curses. His people. face paint similar because we said that the icon Sting was nice. <laughs> No one wants to see Dan Housen's face. Uh, that's a good point. Which is a nice thing to do then, to put the makeup on. Yeah. So is it he nice then? Yeah. I think he constantly gave birth like Carmella. <laughs> what? What? I lost the thread there. He, that she put makeup on. Oh, okay. Got it. Got birth, it. So got it. I believe, it. I believe, I believe, uh, I believe um, Dan Housen constantly lays butt babies. There it is. All right. Just a couple more here. Seth Rollins. These are coming from the chat. Oh, Seth Rollins. Um. Uh, uh, naughty. <gasps> oh, his wife was nice. He's so naughty. He's naughty because um he takes up way too much space in the closet. They are not. He is not being considerate of baby clothes or or toys for the baby to store. Okay. He keeps getting more and more outlandish outfits, and then he hangs them up in the closet, and that is not considerate for your household of three. All right. I I uh I can't argue. As somebody who loves a shared space and organization, uh, I respect your decision here. 
What about Stephanie McMahon? Nice. Why? She has not taken these bonuses. She is she has walked away from the company. She is not getting involved in the drama, and she has said like, "Hey, I'm I'm with this group then, now, and forever, but not right now." And she has she is currently played cool. And you know what? She even retired her father on TV, uh, in the in the company's best wishes, and then they all went down. That's not okay. So she she has not created any additional drama and just said. Then you deal with it. I like it. Uh, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Well, let me see. He previously ended racism, so that doesn't give me no, a point. No, this year. It's got to be this year. This year. He lost at Mania. Yes. So, I mean, he's a he loser. He apologized. He said sorry to everybody. So he was, he was humble true. and he said sorry. He has good manners. He won Brock Lesnar's respect. From fighting him three that is times. True. And that's pretty darn cool. Got, that's got a handshake and everything. So Cody's been he's been pretty humble. Okay. He's been for he, he doesn't have an overinflated ego. And he's he's uh he, he you know what? He's doing it the right way. I like it. A nice, nice for doing it the right way. Doing what, it the what? right way for if for being in a sport where you constantly fight people, he's doing it the right what way. What about Seamus? Oh, it's a shameful thing, lobster head. It's right there, but that's not his, he hasn't had that song this year. I know I missed that God, song. If, if they bring that back one day, it's gonna get such a pop. Yeah, it will. I think people then try to sing along with it real fast, yeah. and it's got a whoa yeah. in it, yeah. right? The Whoa. So he'll be huge. He's already huge. He still has his workout show, right? Yeah, of course he does. He's getting people swell all over the place. He's promoting fitness. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, he's he's doing all that. He's still, still not uh, giving in to the idea of like, oh, I got to get a tan. Oh, I got to conform. He's he's being an individual. Right. And allowing people to be themselves. So that that's nice. Oh, I like that. Um... What about Samoa Joe? Hmm. Jeez, he's on Twisted Metal. He's he is he does Just, appear on the program. He yeah. he he sold his body for Peacock, which seems like that's kind of naughty, right? Like he's just he's like I don't have to talk. Here's my body. Yeah, and he film it. Sure, he's in a mask. You said that that's it, automatically Shit. naughty. Yeah, that is naughty. Yeah, and he's been a naughty guy on TV. He's he's beating people up, and you know what? Guys are trying to jump on him, and he just casually walks out of the way. It's pretty naughty. It's pretty naughty. Those people could break their necks. He doesn't seem to care. All righty. All right. We're going to end it here. The last one. CM Punk. CM Punk. Well... Supposedly, he threatened someone's life. Although he did try and prevent Jack Perry from great injury yep. with using real glass. And, and and that's an alleged threat of life. And by the way, that person that who he allegedly threatened, the verdict is still out on whether that person's even naughty or nice. Mm-hmm. And CM Punk has been helping doctors left and right by constantly visiting them going, and now this yeah. hurts. And now this hurts. And now this is Research. broken, and now this is That's fractured. True. That's true. So, because doctors really need financial help. Yeah. I mean. So he, he's been very generous. The, the doctors that are employed by wrestling promotions, definitely. You know, at the time of this recording, we won't, we don't know if CM Punk did indeed show up in Chicago oh, right. for Survivor Series Yeah, or there's not. a possibility that if the, the listeners of the future know more than we do. Because Santa uh, goes to Chicago once a year, it. and this year he was going to go for Survivor Series, I and he makes it there. that could change everything. So it's like, if he's on the naughty list, right. and then CM Punk shows up, and the Santa's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. He's one of those guys. Yeah. Like he, he goes like, oh, yeah. shit, and then turns like, bro, oh, shit, and then takes off his hat and is like holding his hat in one uh. hand like, oh. Oh shit! I wish people oh, see this. Is why I got tuned in live because the visual here—he's really painting a picture with his his uh, his 
is mime work. Santa is one of those fans that just like, he's not the crying guy. He's not the, the reaching out guy at no, AEW no, who's no. like reaching out and crying. He's not, Santa's not one of those guys like when he loses it, when he marks out. Well, but I'd say CM Punk right CM now. CM Punk has got to, he's, he's got to be written down. He's, he's naughty. CM Punk is a naughty boy. Unless he shows up at Survivor Series for and Santa, but it's already happened at this so time. So you decide. He can redeem himself. But otherwise, he's staying on the. Well, there list. you have it for threatening a man's there life you have it. at the biggest show ever in wrestling um, in in England. I mean, it just goes against everything they stand for. Keep calm and carry on. Um, all right, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, this was super fun. Uh, we were gonna throw to a hotline, Scotty, but I think we're gonna save that one maybe for next week. Um, so I'm telling you this now because uh, you might need to get our our, our Powski list ready to go. Uh, and while you while okay. you do that. I will let uh, uh, those of you who joined live know that we appreciate you and we hope that you urge all of the listeners and all of your friends to join us live as well. Um, in order to do that, you got to become a patron over at patreon.com slash PW Palskis. Alice Raider, AKA invasion current PWP champ will uh, defend that title next week in the December, the final PWP championship battle Royal of the year. I love the Battle Royal. It's such a fun, silly thing that we do, and I hope that you guys enjoy it just as much as we do. We really appreciate you guys, um, and we hope that you'll consider becoming patrons. Uh, Scott Narver, we need to thank our current Patreon Palskis. Yes, we do, and stick around to the end, everybody, because Jake's going to give the full rundown of the naughty and nice list for oh, Santa. Oh, I, did, right? I didn't do the the speed round, though. I couldn't. I, didn't know, I wasn't that quick, but I did the rest of it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, so thank you to all our current Patreon Palskis, the only place where you can get a retribution name and a maximum male model name. So thank you to AJ0314, aka Binary, aka Matrice69, Alex Pierce, aka Figs, aka Zitoys, Alice Raider, aka Invasion, aka Evejoa, aka the current PWP champ, Andrea Beeler, aka Pollen Hate, aka Achu Detest, Curtis Mason, aka Hurtis. Gilbert Short, a.k.a. Goliathon, a.k.a. Battle Under Ruse. Mass Llama, a.k.a. Spitz, a.k.a. Jacara Lover. Michael Beltran, a.k.a. Limestone, a.k.a. La Naturelle. Miguel Diaz, a.k.a. Bipod, a.k.a. Too Much Husk. Mike Lucas, a.k.a. Hack and Sack, a.k.a. Luge Testicle. Suicide, a.k.a. A.K.A. Tim Bemis, a.k.a. War Trek, a.k.a. Tussle Quest. Tim Redbeard, a.k.a. Blood Fuzz, a.k.a. Blue de Fusse. Tom Hader, a.k.a. Cupid. And Tony Griggs, a.k.a. Big Griggs, a.k.a. Grand Grisois. Thanks to each and every one of you for your continued support of the show. We could not, would not do this show without you. Uh, we really do appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, and again, I urge everybody listening out there, if you're not a patron, if you don't, uh, if you don't hear your name at the end of these episodes, well... Go ahead and, and and get in there and hear your name. Because also, by the way, the more people who join the Patreon, even at the uh, the the lowest level, get their name on the show. And I just love when Scott has to read like yeah, you, a ton you of fucking low name level. You know what I mean? That the, I'm sorry. Feeders, at this you're the starting shrimp. tier, I should say. And the point I'm trying to get at level one. The point I'm trying to get at. God oh, damn it! Let me man, get the you're fucking have point to grind. out. God damn it! Drive me fucking crazy. Um, you know what? Don't join the Patreon. We're ending the fucking show. <laughs> Sick of the shit. Um, the point I was trying to get at was the longer that list goes, the more dumb shit Scott has to say in rapid succession, and I fucking love that. Um, and so uh, let's get like sixty more names on there. What do you say? Yeah, just start making bots. Yeah, as yeah, five dollar a bot. That's not bad. Um, hey, brand new items are available right now in the shop. Go to pwpowskis.com, click that shop link, or you can go direct to dragonwagonshop.com if you're a if you're if you're a direct kind of guy or gal. Um, we got iPhone cases, we got hoodies, we got shirts, we got mugs, we got hats, we got this beautiful PWP hat that I'm wearing right now. It comes in a few different styles, not just the 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 kind of uh, arched brim, what they call a dad hat. Uh, distress, but also in the nice flat brim style. I know Mickey Bell's got one that he that he rocks in some photos. It looks fantastic. Um, please check out the shop this holiday season. If you're hearing this, it's probably cutting close for the uh, the final order date. I think if you want stuff. 
by the holidays, or if you want to send stuff to people to get you by the holidays, I think you have to get it in no later than the 10th um, of December. Who doesn't love gifts in January too, though? That's a good point. Better late. Keep it going. It's like a birthday week. Better late than never. Um, check out the shop. Uh, we put a lot of work in the shop. A lot of time goes in to ensuring that there are, 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 are nice designs up there and high quality merchandise. We don't sell anything that I have not put my hands on and tested and, and <laughs> checked out. Uh, uh, no, I say that because a lot of people Sounds just weird. have like an internet shop where they just type stuff in and they never see their product. This is not like that. Yeah. I know. It just sounds like all inventory yes. is shipped yep. to you. And then I just you like, get my hands in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hands through I want it. people. I want to like, make sure my yeah. DNA is all over our, our listener base. Um, Damn right. Um, you think those footy pajamas are clean? They're, they're not, not. That butt flap. Jake's hands have been in the feet. Yeah, in the butt flap. Um, what else? Uh, social media. We barely use it, but I'm at Jake Lloyd Bacon. He's at Scott Narver. We are at PW Palskis, wherever that exists. Um and also the holiday season, uh, th- do yourself a favor and watch Jake Lloyd Bacon's movie Pinch available on Amazon. You can rent it, sure, but then you don't have access to it for all of time, and you might be like, "Oh, this is a I want to show my family this movie." You can purchase it on there. It gives a little kickback to Jake. You're uh, you're uh, you're watching his art. You're supporting. That is that is a great way in the holidays, and then tell people about it. If you're like, yeah, I watch Pinch. This is a cool movie. You can go check it out. Spread it around. Spread it around like things that Ric Flair does. <laughs> that's that's not do it that way. Can we do it different? What do you mean? <laughs> oh Jesus, Christopher. Um, all right, that's it. I think we did it, everybody. Congrats. Uh, I hope that you made the naughty uh list this year. Because everybody knows that's the better one with more fun folks on it. Um, and, uh, we love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's always a blast hanging out with you. The pro wrestling Palskis. Hey, thanks for listening to dragon wagon radio. If you're enjoying this show, check out dragonwagonshop.com and get yourself some sweet merch while supporting your favorite indie podcast network. That's dragonwagonshop.com. Dragon Wagon.